Hello, welcome to Data Tips. My name is Jamil Ahmed, and in this video, I will show you how to fetch the stock prices data from your finance and pull this into a Power BI dashboard directly. So here I am showing you a stock price data for the whole year. Suppose this is displaying a data for the whole year for a stock symbol Google. Uh, actually, this symbol for the Google is Google. So here you can you can show I am displaying you the whole month overview and whole year. This is a yearly overview and in the tooltip you can see this is a uh, actually we have our concerns are to fetch a data how to fetch data from stock prices using your finance I will share a, a query code I will use a power query and I will share a power query code in the video description so you have to pay attention in the full video so I am closing this video uh, closing this and uh, now I am opening this file new file here we will try to get stock prices from your finance so here first we will open a power query this is I already open a power query and this is a power query editor so in the power query editor I will try to paste this code I will share this code for you in the video description Actually, this code represents a source CSV file from finance.jow.com and here you can see the stock code and stock. We have to provide this a stock code means stock symbol and tail period means uh, we have to provide uh, today's date in a Unix time zone. So I will show you how to get a uh, Unix time zone uh, time timestamp. Basically, how oh, here we will insert a stock code and here we will insert a stock uh, Unix timestamp. Suppose here uh, suppose I want to get uh, from for a data of MSFT. have to get MSFT Microsoft stock code and uh, tail period actually tail period we can calculate in Excel uh, using a now formula and then we will use this formula to date and convert this into a, a Unix stamp stamp basically this is a Unix stamp stamp and we will copy this Unix stamp stamp into a tail period and invoke Oh, we you can see here we have a Microsoft stock prices from uh, your finance directly. Actually, the latest uh, we are getting from query is uh, 19, and uh, hopefully when we try to refresh the uh, query, or we have to enter uh, enter a latest date, whatever we have in this, and our data will be re refreshed to date and uh, we, we further we can uh, analyze this data into a power bi so invoke function and here uh, we have to apply and uh, this is loading into our data set So here we will uh, close and apply. Uh, in uh, in this you can see we have a, a MSFT stock prices from Yakum or from from eighty six to approximately eighty six to two thousand twenty four latest price. So I have showed you how we can uh, use a tail period. Uh, so every time we have to because we are not using uh, paid API. I think this is a free version. And uh, keep in mind, 
uh, also we need for ethical use and proper use of uh, other websites data like finance and google and directly fetching into your systems is not allowed we, we need to permission from uh, your finance or uh, or relevant websites actually this website uh, this video is this website this website not allowed uh, anyone any user to get a data from the website uh, by using without using api or unethical and this video is just for educational purpose so as uh, your concern is to get as your question is to get a more precise data suppose this is showing a stock so suppose here we will create a new file uh, suppose uh, we want to get a new new process data here i will uh, create add a new table in the table we will add suppose sorry this is what uh, not uh, i am using actually i need to create a table transform data sorry this is not uh, actually what I, I am trying to add a new table anyhow i am using uh, excel suppose first i i, I need I need in the form of table okay. okay these are our symbols I will copy from this and I will try to go to them into a Sorry. Give me another table layout. Apple, MSFT, Google, Amazon, Apple. stock uh, we have suppose so we want uh, these stocks uh, into our uh, our base to these stocks so first of all uh, we will try to get these this table into a power bi uh, no, okay okay now the table is ready we need to get a data from excel workbook from a table sorry excel we are using excel file which is this for now for this time we will try to get a multiple stocks price i have entered in manually i will try to transform the data so 
here we can you can see here is the list of stock prices we will delete this column and we will use here we will use a revoke function as you can see here we have only msft and in this uh, here we will use invoke function add column invoke custom function and then we will use query one and uh, we have selected price and now we have to insert a uh, tail period so tail period we already have here and we will copy this and paste this control v and okay here we will try to accept the price basic labels and save and this is getting a data from the Yahoo Finance for all the stocks I have already shared you I already told you so this is getting data let's just wait okay now we have all stocks tables here we have to expand those tables okay now we will click ok so here you can see we have a latest prices for all the stock we can see you can see we have <coughs> Uh, all stocks actually this is uh, taking time and hopefully this will load list maybe uh, and uh, this is taking uh, anyhow this is taking a uh, time while loading a uh, query it depends on mm, the value of the stock tier and okay now we have all the stocks in the price in, in this data set okay we can see we have all stocks and we will apply and then Wow, congratulations, we have already all stocks uh, prices here and we will close and apply. We need to save this and we have, we, here we have all stocks price. Here we can see, sorry, here, here we will select a stock code and we will get those stock prices and we can use these stock prices in our visualization and our project okay thank you if you got this video helpful please follow my channel and subscribe bell icon okay thank you